right? So. Okay, what we're getting ready to do today is to uh, show how to put uh, texture on the wall. Okay, we're getting ready right here. We've got this taped off. Try it on the board once real quick. Figure out if you like your pattern. There we go. Okay. A little more in that corner. There you go. You got some empty spots in the middle there. And go around the corner a little bit. That's awesome. This is training. Okay, we went a little thicker and we'll go ahead now. There we go. That's what we're after right there. Okay. Okay, you can see the difference. Now these guys aren't tapers. He's never done this before. Real light touch. There you go. Okay, have you done this before? Yes, sir. Okay. Love it. This is how the rest of the world, the rest of the world doesn't frame, doesn't use drywall, taping, and all this, okay? They just finish red brick. They plaster it, only we don't have to plaster it. We don't have to go back in and put several coats of mud on top of brick. We just finish, as you saw, and it looks gorgeous. Go around that corner just a little bit. Holy hell, Mr. Calling. Okay, just try and dab a bit here and here, a couple of those empty spots, just... People are wondering how to finish our walls. Okay, this is, these guys printed this yesterday. This was their second print of training. Finished the wall. This morning, we're texturing. So, Okay, give that a second to dry and we will go. Okay, one of our customers just printed this. Uh, it's a mini home. Okay, done some cool stuff here with some tile right there. And then we got these lights that are gonna be hung right here that are gonna just look beautiful all the way down. Different lights on there. Um, bring you on the inside. Okay. The walls are just gorgeous. No one else in the world can do this. They don't even come close. You got $800 US in material. That's US. And you got about $800 in labor. Uh, three man crew. And we can print one of these every single day. So, this is, uh, we did some cool stuff here with leaving part of this exposed and then just 
uh, textured the rest of it. So this is this is what we do, and no one else can do it. So that's why everybody's trying to copy us and trying to get employees to come to work for us and steal any way they can. So okay, guys, this is what your wall should look like, bottom to top. Didn't stop, no cold joints. Finishing the wall while we go. Okay. Okay. Kyle, when did we stop printing? How long ago? We stopped. What was uh, time? 11 or uh, 10 minutes. 10, 1 30, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago, okay? I'm here finishing the wall, okay? Take a high spot out, just a little bit right there. Okay. So I'm just scraping. And then a sponge trowel, guy with a sponge trowel, bring me a bucket of water guys and a, a sponge trowel. Okay, sponge trowel dog guy is going right behind me. And it's best if you do these circular, okay? If you just go like this, okay, you have a tendency to dig into the wall a little bit. I won't go up there yet because 15 minutes ago. Okay. I'm not sending a plaster crew in, blowing an inch of mud on the stupid wall. Hoover's hanging all over the place. Uh, said it before. You want to compare us to Apis, Icon, Squared. Uh, who the hell did I leave out? Uh, Kobot, <laughs> our buddy's Kobot over there, our, uh, our marketing arm. Thanks for all the videos you guys are putting up, it's awesome. So come here and see what we're doing. That's why people buy here, okay? Because it's not just, okay, that they built the wrong printer, it's that they don't understand construction. If I'm gonna print something and it takes me three weeks and I go, oh shit, and I got to stop every 12 inches. Oh, we're at 18 inches now, shit. The biggest difference between Mudbots and everybody else is we print without stopping. Nobody does that. Take a look at everybody that's printing and all you'll see is uh, three or four passes of fresh mud on top of uh, the previous day where they stopped. They're stopping every six to 12 inches because of wind and rain and a myriad of other issues. But they don't print more than 12 inches because they're afraid it's gonna blow over or fall over. Their mix is entirely different than ours. Uh, the other biggest difference that people just, they watch all these videos, they drink the Kool-Aid, they get excited, uh, but they don't realize what they're looking at. You'll, all you'll ever see is let, six inches, eight inches, three inches, 12 inches, at, those are days that they stopped and started again, stopped and started again. We don't do that. We print from the ground up. But the other big difference is our walls look like this. We're not printing shitty, ugly walls that have to be plastered. That, that's extra time. That is setting up scaffolding. That is blowing tons of mud, trying to scrape off crap uh, that their printers printed. We don't have to hide our walls. The walls are beautiful, okay? On the exterior, by not having to go back and plaster this, that's a huge, huge savings. Uh, being able to print this in a day, that's a huge savings. Everybody else, by the time you add the wind days and the rain days and the stops and the stops and the stops and the stops, okay? You've got to, it takes them a month to print what we print in one day, okay? We don't hide our walls. They're gorgeous. We're proud of our walls. Uh, and this is a training piece. This is a piece that a group printed. Everybody that comes here has to print this. They have to go home and print it again before they finish their post training. And then we certify the group to be able to print commercially without embarrassing everybody in the whole world that's a part of Mudbots. All our other buyers, um, we don't, uh, we, we don't have crap out there. Uh, 
people are learning, people are getting better and better. So even on this, there's some inconsistencies that I don't like, that right there, okay? That would be a fail uh, when we come out to certify <clears throat> their print. Uh, we want it printed uh, in a day, two days tops. Some people are choosing to stop at wainscot height uh, so they can play with their electri electrical and their plumbing and stuff like that. These are usually paper contractors that are, uh, they don't do the electrical themselves. So they want to stop and let everybody in. We don't teach that process. We teach how to lay the electrical in the wall while you're printing, do your plumbing while you're printing. Nevertheless, people get home, uh, they get nervous. Uh, these are generally people that have less experience in construction. And so you got the building department kind of telling them what they have to do versus an engineer saying, no, I certified this. You're not licensed, building department, you're not licensed, you don't stamp plans, I do. This house meets code, we're gonna build it this way. But uh, you stop at Wainscote Height, that would be one day, you come back the next day after the electrical and plumbing's done and finish out the print. Now on the inside, if you want it, uh, okay, so, We've taken the time to show you how we scrape the wall, we sponge trowel the wall, uh, we go over it with a 12 inch blade. The wall looks like smooth wall concrete, or smooth wall drywall, okay? By the time we're done, so the wall looks like, uh, when, when we're done in here, because you got a finishing crew and a printing crew, your finishing crew is working on the interior walls. They're scraping them, they're getting them ready for texture while you're printing. We don't have drywall guys. We don't have to come back in and do taping except for the lid, okay? We, uh, the, the lid itself is, is wood, so they just throw drywall up there, but that's the only place. If you want your interior walls to look like this, uh, we do it. We're finishing the walls while we print. Guys, you gotta pay attention to what you're watching and the videos that you're trying to uh, glean information from. That's why we try to convince people, come to Mud University, come to two days of training, bring your engineer, bring your contractor, bring the building department, anybody that's gonna have a say-so in what your company's preparing to do. Bring them so that you have people on your side of the table. So when they're asking questions about electrical or how you're gonna tie the, the top plate in to the footing, uh, rebar, columns, all of these different things, headers, we're gonna be answering those questions. But if you don't have the right people there uh, during that, uh, university, two-day university that we invite buyers to come to, you don't, you don't know who to ask. If they're there, we'll explain something. You can look at your engineer and say, is, is that right? And he'll say, hell yeah, that's right. In fact, there's four or five other ways to do that. Don't worry about that. We know that if people are worried about those types of things, they don't buy. If they don't have the money, they don't buy. If they don't have construction experience, they get nervous about being able to run a construction crew, they don't buy. We make we help you get to where you get through all of that stuff. If you still think there might be a company out there that can actually do what we do, you don't buy. You go home and then you want to start vetting and knocking on doors everywhere. Uh, we've given you the questions to ask, a uh, hundred questions, but hell, just get 20 of them. Call them up, get them to answer those questions. And the buyers that do, they're just like, this is ridiculous. Not, number one, they won't answer questions. They won't answer their email. Uh, as soon as we say we got a list of questions from Mudbots, uh, click, ghosted, gone. So uh, we have you do all of that stuff. So when you come to university, you can ask intelligent questions uh, and then you buy. We're not like others where it's like, uh, you got to check for us. Here's the keys. <laughs> Good luck. You know, our buyers don't print with their fingers crossed. That's why our training is a month of pre-training before you come here, uh, all done by video. You got five weeks of training here where you will print something like this. Uh, and then uh, you go home, you got to print this again. This becomes your best sales tool uh, to be able to walk your buyers through something like this, let them pound on the wall, okay? Out. Let them uh, see the whole process. It's valuable to you.
if you walk a building department or engineers or anybody through something like this and show them what you are preparing to do in your state, they're going to get excited, very, very excited, especially with $800 in material and walls, $800 for a three-man crew for a day. Um, so you go home and you print one of these, your best sales tool. In fact, you print all the different prints you printed when you were training in Utah. When you go home, you will reprint those. And that's when we come out and certify your print team uh, to make sure that you're ready for commercial. Uh, we don't want you embarrassing yourself. We don't want you embarrassing our other buyers. Uh, we don't want you embarrassing the brand. So this is an essential part of our training and what we teach and what you're going to learn.